Hello boys and girls, how are you doing? My name is Courtney J and welcome back to my channel. Now today I have got my mum with me and she's going to help me out with this video. We're talking about coming out, I've done this before, but I decided to bring my mum this time because I've always talked about it from my personal experience and I thought like if you could see my parent and how they reacted to me coming out and what they would expect from it and how they would obviously deal with the situation, then maybe it'll help some of you guys when you come out. Right, so to start this off pretty fast, I'm going to ask, how did you feel about me coming out? Basically, thought it was about time. We already knew from your being a young kid, you know, watching you develop. You were so different to your siblings, cousins, mates, and parents' intuition is, you know, even your nun knew as well. So it's it's something what you pick up on quite easily. Yeah. And even if it's not fully there, you always have it in the back of your mind. You'll kind of notice it in some elements. Yeah, your whole body language, the way you put yourself across, how you present yourself, how you react to situations. So that, that might help you guys out. If you if you have any of these sort of gestures where you notice you're a little bit different from your mates, your parents pick up on this sort of thing. So this is something you could probably try and work into a conversation a little bit more. How did I, how did I come out to you? I'd been out, I'd had a drink. You come in and told me. I was like, yeah, I know. And he, he actually come up and asked me the next morning, Mum, do you remember our conversation last night? I was like, yes, I wasn't drunk, I'd had a drink. And he's like, and how do you feel about it? I goes, I ain't changed, I still love you, as long as you're happy, you know. We've known it since you was a kid, and, you know, it's about time. I built it to be this big thing in my head, and then when I, I told my mum, she was like, yeah, okay. I was like, I'm being serious, Mum, I'm not joking around here. And she was like, yeah, I know, I know you're not. You know. A parent knows their child and, you know, you come from, well, there's five of you, you're all completely different individual and just watching you grow up, you know, you did come across as very feminine, you weren't one that went out doing all the football and in the gangs, this and that, you stayed very quiet, you, you secluded yourself basically, you only had a handful of friends. Uh, you were never one going on about this and that on TV, you know, and whenever a conversation come up about gay people, etc., or there were scenes on TV, you tend to vacate or go off, and so, you know, little telltale signs. Okay, so Mum, I came to you when you, you had a little bit of a drink okay, and everything. Yes. So if we were to go back and do that situation again, how would you appreciate it? Because obviously for my dad, I wrote it down. Um, I could have made a video and shown it to you. Um, or I could have spoke to you face to face, which I chose to do in the end. How would you have appreciated it to be dealt with? I would like you to have done it when I was um, sober, with no alcohol in my system. Because then you would have known straight off, you wouldn't have been... Worry in fact the rest of the night did mum actually understand what I said? Did it really sink in? Is it just because she's had a drink? She's like, yeah, in a happy mood. And so, you know, you gave yourself five hours of worrying as to whether it registered and it did. If you just told me something I already had a good instinct for. If you feel you haven't got that good bond with your parents and due to religion or family beliefs and the area that you brought up in, there are professionals, i.e. teachers. If you are part of a religion, um, there's priests, fathers, you've got a doctor, there are counsellors, um, there are Various helpline numbers available, um, child lines, mountains, they have them all and they can guide you in the correct, you know, direction on how to be confident when you do bring it up. Don't just blow it out if you think it's going to cause a big rift. I mean, you can't do it over Christmas dinner to the whole family, although that'd be the easy option when they're all together. But if, you know, you, you can sort of, if you wanted to, you could laugh and just say, got you, yeah, if bad reaction, you can always turn it around and say, I'm winding you up, and then you know you need to go down other avenues as to how to express. And it's a shame that some people feel that they can't be open and honest and they live a second life. I know a couple of people that have had children, and then it's as soon as the children have grown up, and because the way times have adapted, 21st century, 
they've actually, you know, parted from their partners on good terms because their partners knew it. And deep down, the family knew it anyway. Bonuses, they got grandchildren, you know, and it was just a shame that they had to forsake half of their life and be, well, not so much unhappy because obviously they'd had good times, but a lot of it, they would have been lonely, isolated. Kind of living a lie, really. Yeah. And, and that, that's a good topic to talk about because obviously if, you, if you're going to choose this life, it's better to choose it early than later. Obviously, if I came up to you when I was like 50, so she said that if I was 50, I would have wasted my life and she wouldn't have wanted that. She would have wanted me to come out as early as possible so I can start living life rather than... Be happy. Yeah, and secluding and myself. Be true to who you are and what you want, love and feel. Everybody has a right to love somebody. You know, we're all unique, different, and yeah, you can experiment once. Then you'll know if you like or you don't like it. After a few times, then you know what you're feeling and you should be open, you know, with yourself and your own feelings. And then the next step. And like I say, there is guidance out there, people to talk to. You know, just start living, be happy. You get one life. And you've got to live for that moment because tomorrow, you know, is not promised. Yeah, so life can end at any point and it's important that you make life what it's meant to be. You know, it's about living, it's about being yourself. Also, don't ever put yourself in a situation where you're forcing it because, you know, 10 years, as my mum said, 10 years down the line, 15 years down the line, when you've had kids with someone and obviously they, they've parted and obviously they've had a good relationship and they've parted. And it's all yeah, that. but some have but had there, a bad a, relationship. Yeah, it's also, it. there's a lot of devastation caused from it. You think about if you start a whole family and they found out they're gay, that's going to that's gonna cause traumatic experiences for the kids, that sort of thing, because, the, you know, it's what you're around. So it's better to be, if you're going to be gay, be gay. You know, don't don't live a lie because it's not fair to the partner what you're with if you're lying to them because at the end of the day they can fall in love with you and if it comes to the end of it and they realise you haven't loved them, you've not only wasted your life, you've wasted their life. So get it done, get it out there because it's a, it lifts a burden off your shoulders. And as my mum said, you don't always have to talk to your parents about it. You don't always have to talk about your friends about it because your friends can react bad and obviously nobody wants that friendship which has gone yeah, but negative. It's not just about sex with same sex or whether you're gay, lesbian, bisexual, straight. There's other areas like cross-dressing, transvestites, you know, a lot of them do it in secret, partners are at work, then they do it, and, you know, there's no need for it. You know, if you've got in a good relationship, and you've got a good relationship, you should be able to speak and open and clearly. Exp express yourself, so yeah. always be open with the partner that you're with. Okay, guys, so that is everything what me and my mum had to talk about today. Obviously, we shared some important points about what coming out can mean and how it can affect people around you and other ways what you could do about it, because obviously, I'm quite young. Obviously, I'm not experienced. My mum's more experienced. She's had friends who've come out. She's I've had... been to gay weddings. Yeah, yeah so so like she knows these people and some of the things what they've had to go through. If you've got anything to add to it, if you've come out already and you want to give some people some advice, put it in the comments below because it really helps those people. Those people are obviously struggling. It's not easy for everybody to just come out and say how they feel about themselves. It's hard to be confident in general, so being confident about sexuality is, is even harder. So that's uh, that's a good way to help out. Uh, give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. Give it a share because obviously the more shares it gets, the more people it can help. I'm going to say love. Peace. Peace. I don't know if it goes. Chicken fried grease. Chicken why, grease. why do you always say chicken fried grease? Because I think it's Ch chicken fried bites. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Love, peace and chicken grease. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.